smoke and she said funnel You a wanna be who wanna be, I'm only about the karma See me in the street on any day, I'm really about that drama And you know I keep the heat on me, ain't talking about the summer Smoking Kila, I'm OG, and this car got two seats When I hop out, it dang, you can smell it on me Handle that shit myself, I ain't gon' call Hello lovely people, I have another DIY for you. So this is a denim jacket that I got from Rainbow. It does have this like embroidery stitching or whatever you want to call it. We will be removing that. But what you will need is some E6000 glue, a um, seam ripper, and you will also need some jewels or crystals or fake diamonds or whatever you want to call them. Of your choice, I got this big package from Michaels. It was $19.99. I don't know exactly how many stones you get, but you do get quite a few. removed all the embroidery all the stitching and that literally took about I want to say two hours maybe I'm just picking up any loose threads by taking a piece of tape and running it across the jacket that embroidery was so tightly stitched which is a nice thing but I wanted a jacket that was cheap because I knew I would be DIYing it so it takes a little bit more effort to remove that stitching but the end result is pretty decent So next up, after um, using that tape to get rid of any loose threads, I'm just taking the stones. These are clear, like fake diamonds. Then some of them have like that iridescent holographic look to them. And the rest are pearls. And I'm just, you know, placing the stones where I think I might want them. Not leaving too big of a space in between each stone. This does take some time. Or you can just get started by going straight forward and gluing everything and then filling in any spaces but I just wanted to get like a good measure I guess for how many stones I would use I was kind of getting afraid that I would have to go back and get more stones but this one case did the entire job and I still have plenty left over for another DIY <laughs>
So this is the finished look. Um, I do recommend letting the front side dry for maybe a few hours or overnight just so the stones aren't moved or anything. And then I got started with the back. Same process, trying to lay out or map out where I'm going to put the little stones and then going ahead and gluing them down. So that's about it. You just really want to fill in the entire jacket, small, medium, large, crystal, small, medium, large, pearls, or whatever you want, any color you want, and just make sure you don't have any large spaces. Let this dry overnight, and if you do wash it in the washing machine, turn it inside out. So I hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you in the next one.